everyone welcome back to my channel Debbie here today I'm gonna to be sublimating on socks these socks I got from five below they come in a pack like this it's ten pairs in here for five dollars which is a steal because these are 98 polyester 2% spandex so perfect for sublimation so I got those socks and then we also gonna need some heat resistant tape we need a lint roller, a template for our socks to put our socks in, and this is just, I think, 110 car stock. As you can see, I already used it. I tested it out, and then because there is um, ink on here, I cut two little pieces to add there, so the back of the sock doesn't get messed up. And you're also gonna need some butcher paper, which I have here. And this is from a giant roll that I purchased on Amazon.com. I also purchased the heat resistant tape on Amazon. It's this giant lip roller I got from Walmart. I already made a couple of them. I made a few, actually like four or five pairs. I made this first one for my daughter. She wanted Chris Brown. She loves Chris Brown for my oldest daughter. And it's just the same image. And then the same thing here with um, Bad Bunny. And these are made for my other daughter because she loves Bad Bunny. They both love Bad Bunny, but. And these are two different photos. So you can see his mouth is open on this one and not on that one. So I made those and I didn't do anything on the back. You can actually do the same exact photo on the back. And I'm thinking I'm gonna do that with this pair. I wanna sublimate on both sides of the sock let me just show you put your hands in that's what it looks like and then the back looks pretty plain so i don't know you'll see those are the socks i mean I, my favorite are the chris brown they came out perfect for pink i guess the image was perfect for sublimation the colors on it i guess the colors are really vibrant anyway let's get started with the um, tutorial part of this video and I'm gonna take you over to my computer and show you how I get my image ready for printing and then sublimating so here I am I'm gonna open up my Google Chrome and I want to use Canva to create my image for my socks so I go straight into Canva I don't have the um, monthly one that you pay monthly I just have the free version which works really great and then once you're in here you're gonna go to create a new design create a design so I'm gonna click on that and I'm gonna say custom size so for the socks I played around with it and so I have a set um, size but I want to go here and change it to inches so make sure you, that is on inches and I believe the size was, if I'm not mistaken, seven inches by 11. And then I'm just gonna click create new design and it's gonna open up a new window. And here is your space for adding the photos. Now to add a photo, you go to uploads here on the left hand side, upload, and then you're gonna click on upload media. And then you're gonna go to device or I believe you can just drag and drop in here I haven't done that because I'm just comfortable with this doing it this way but you go to device and then you select the image you want and you put it in there I already have the image so I'm just gonna go back here and I have all my images here all the images I've have I have uploaded and I'm gonna do this one here, which is my dog when he was a puppy. So as you can see, I just clicked on it and it went straight into my to my canvas here. So now what I wanna do is size it. So since we said this was seven by 11, so it's seven across, I want my image to be half of seven. So that'll be three and a half. So I'm gonna click on here and I'm gonna Put it at three and a half. That's half a seven, right? 
and then I'm going to stretch it out this way from down here to cover the entire thing. And then I can play around with my image. Like let's say it's hiding his nose a little bit, so I'm going to go open it from there, and then I'll go here and put it back at three and a half, right? And then I'll move it back right there. So if I'm happy with that, or if I want his eye to show a little bit more, which I do, I'll just do the same thing. I'll just open this up until I see his eye. Then I come over here on this side and close it up until it's three and a half, and then move it again this way, right? So when we sublimate, right, we have to um, we have to mirror our image. We have to flip it around so it can go correctly on our garment. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to leave this one as it is, but I want to make a copy of this. So I'm going to go here. Where is copy at? I know it's one of these. Duplicate right here. I'm going to hit duplicate, and then I'm going to come here where it says flip, and I'm going to click on the flip, and I'm going to flip horizontally. And then I'm just going to put that right there next to it. And I'm going to make sure that I like how it is, if I need to open it up a little bit more. So there's no, no white in between. it. And this is going to be one sock, and this is going to be the second sock. So I want it to mirror each other. So that's why I didn't mirror this one. I only mirror this one. So when I lay it down on my socks, it will be the same way you see here on the screen. So, and that's basically all I did for these particular socks. Like, I haven't tried it on longer socks. I'm going to be um, purchasing some, some blanks soon so I can test those out. But this is just going to go on the front of the sock. That's another thing is that I want to try out doing it on both sides of the sock. So I ordered um, a thing that's called the, um, what is it called? To put your socks in, like the what lays the, the sock flat, the template thing. And I ordered it from Amazon, and I'll tell you what the name is. It's a jig or something like that, what it's called. I forgot the name already. But I ordered it this morning. So I can be able to um, do it on both sides of the socks without any trouble. Because I, I don't want to keep cutting cardstock over and over and over again. That's just a waste of paper to me and a waste of my time. So what I ordered is called a um, Metal Straight Sock Jigs. And I ordered it from Amazon. It was only $18.99. And these will fit any size socks from long to short. So I ordered that and I'm hoping that that will work. But anyway, back to what we're doing right now. I'm going to download this. I'm going to hit the download button. I'm going to hit download again. Just getting my image ready. I'm just going to do I move. I like to move my thing to the side and grab this that just downloaded my the picture of my dog and just drag it to my desktop. And then I'm going to minimize this and I'm going to double click on it to get it open. And as you can see that is our image. And then oops. And then all I have to do is hit file, print, and then make sure that my correct printer is selected. And then I'm just gonna hit print and that's it. It prints on the sublimation paper, which is the A sub that I got from Amazon as well. And I will link all those things down below. So anyway, I'm not going to um, print this because I already have a copy of it already that I had done already, that practiced this already before making this video so I can make sure that I did it correctly. So now we're going to go over to, um, to our heat press so we can press it onto our socks. All right, so here I have my socks and I've lined them up as best as I could, make sure that they align with each other. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my photo that I printed on my A sub paper, take my socks, and I'm going to flip them over like this, and I'm going to lay them down on the paper so I can put them where I want, right? Making sure that 
I am centering them like so making sure they're right in the center and all I'm going to do is pick it up to look at it making sure that's where I want it again making sure I center them and that they're fully in the picture I'm going to take my tape and put one here in the middle Put one over here on the side and another one over here on this side and again I'm going to check them to make sure that I how I want them I'm going to take this tape off I'm going to slide this over a little bit more I'm going to tape it up again I think that's good again checking it and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this I'm going to flip it over like this and I'll put it on my heat press. I hope you can see that. Put it over here like that. So I lay it down there. I'm going to take one. As you can see, I have a piece of parchment. Not parchment. This is butcher. You can use parchment as well. But this is butcher paper and this is butcher paper as well. I'm just going to lay it over it like that. And let's hope that this comes out right. I hope I didn't put the picture too small, which I'm thinking I did. If not, we can change our dimensions. If we're gonna do it again. And then we're gonna press. 385 for 60 seconds okay lift it up slowly I'm gonna take this paper off it's very hot so you gotta be careful as you can see the transfer is on there and then I'm gonna slide this down so I can see what I'm doing and I have here some tweezers because it's hot I'm gonna try my best to lift this and yeah I needed to make the picture wider so you can cover the whole sock because it didn't but let me just show you it did pretty well transferring the ink but as you can see I have white here on the side and I don't want that but it covered fully up here for the most part it left a little bit of white down here and this one a lot of white on the side so I, I'm gonna make my picture wider and I'm gonna try again but they're pretty cute let me just show you this way take the tape off but that's how they, they look I love them but I'm gonna do it again and I'm gonna make my picture Remember we did a 7 by 11, so I'm going to do maybe a 7 and a quarter by 11 would be good. So I'm going to try that. Alright, so I reprinted my image. It's 7 and a quarter by 11. And this should be bigger than my socks um, on my little cardstock here. Flip them over and find my middle again. Making sure that I cover the whole sock. I'm trying to lift this up so it can be even on both sides. I don't think you can see that. Alright, here we go. Making sure that this is my middle, the middle of the dog. Looks about right, and I'm covering everything this time take my tape and one more on this side the reason why I do it like this is because I want to see what I'm doing because if I lay the socks down and then put the picture over it 
for the paper over there. I can't see it. So like this, I can see what I'm doing now. I can check it here, double check, without burning myself. Making sure the stock is all the way up. Seems like it is. I'm gonna use this paper here, put it on top, and then we're gonna press it again for 60 seconds. 385. See now, paper's hot. Put this over a little bit. Oop, a quarter of a peak of what I've done. There you go. That looks much better. More coverage on the entire sock. Let me just take this off. So I can give you a better look. Here they are. I think that came out so much better than the first pair. Yeah. I can bring them over here. My son already tried them on. So as you can see, see all that white there on the side? You don't want that. So you have to play with the sizing of your paper. Some people do it, like, the the image on eight and a half by 11 and they just work it out that way but I like doing it this way because I want more of the image on the sock and not you know the background stuff so that's why I, I sliced it the way I did but I'm glad that um, I was able to show you compare the difference and like I said the next time I make a video on socks it will be on longer socks and using the, the, the jigs so and then also doing the front and back of the sock anyway guys I will link down everything I used in this video the socks it's the only thing I didn't get at amazon.com I got it I got them from five below and they were like ten pairs for five bucks so if you run into a five below they have 98 I think it's 98 percent polyester 2% spandex what their socks are so anyway I hope you like this tutorial if you did please give it a thumbs up don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and hit the bell to be notified when I do upload again and that will be really 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 soon thanks a lot for watching guys bye